Hi everybody, welcome to TFT Tarot for today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon Banshee. This is me, Oberon, and I'm doing a little dabbling today with a new tarot. I'm going to do an unboxing for the Midnight Boulevard Tarot. And it's kind of unique, um, and it was a little bit pricey. It was uh, nearly $90 uh, from the website I got it from Tavada.com. Um, it's definitely, you know, suited for, you know, gothic kind of readings or emotional or darker themes. Um, my one disappointment, I didn't have too many because it's very good deck, uh, is that the booklet is all in some sort of Cyrillic and I'm probably going to have to do something with my camera to get the QR code or whatever that is and print off a English language version. At any rate, that's small. Um, the cards have a nice finish. They feel like they're going to shuffle really well. Uh, I didn't have problems thumbing through them my first couple of investigations. So uh, without further ado, I am going to give us that unboxing and flip through. There it is, the box. It's a pretty sturdy box. I definitely enjoy this deck. No problems. All right. All right, so here we go. And that's our full. The Magician. The High Priestess. The Empress, the Emperor, the cards seem to be a little bit uh, darker tinged, but still following somewhat uh, with Rider Waite kind of imagery. Here's the Hierophant. Okay, definitely a different image for the lovers, with the angel being a graveyard statue. Number seven. The Chariot. Strength. The Hermit <clears throat> kind of looks like a Krampus. Maybe. The Wheel of Fortune. And my one complaint is some of the cards there, they are very dark, so the image is a little harder to see, perhaps, or maybe with my eyesight. When it works, it works. I think being darker suits us one justice. The Hanged Man. And death. And of course, that one is sort of predictable. They didn't do anything that was maybe more unique. I'm not sure what that would have been. Temperance.
the devil. The tower. The star. The moon. Here's a creepy one. The sun. Judgment. The world. All right, now we're moving into the uh, minor arcana, the suits. And you know, in a way, Midnight Boulevard's a nice name, but I could also call it like the Dark Carnival. Here's the King of Wands, and kind of looks like a werewolf, a big alpha werewolf. Queen of Wands. A little more gentler than we're used to seeing her, perhaps. I don't know. The Knight of Wands. The Page of Wands. Now, isn't that unique? Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. And I'm struck by this one a little bit because it sort of looks like the speed of the spirit world in a way. Maybe nothing moves faster than spirit or thought. Here's the Seven of Wands. The Six. The Five of Wands. Four of Wands. This one's kind of interesting. The Three of Wands. The Two of Wands. And we started with a werewolf and we seem to be ending with a vampire. It's the Ace of Wands, although he may be about to be staked with that wand there. All right. King of Pentacles. And that sure looks like Shiva or somebody from the, an Indian or Hindu pantheon. Queen of Pentacles and seemingly in the Empress mode. Pregnant. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. And this is also the card used on the cover box. The Nine of Pentacles. Well, that's one way to look at somebody in their own place. The Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> wow, that one's dark. The Six of Pentacles. Okay. 
the Five of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles. And you know, I did have a thought about how this particular deck might pair with other oracles that I have or other car card decks that I use with Goth Tarot. And of course, the Ace of Pentacles almost looks like it would pair well with the Santa Muerte. There's probably another card or two that might fit that bill. So moving on to the swords, and it's the King of Swords. The Queen of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Page of Swords. Ouch. Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. That's very interesting because they even have it down to uh, the quilt pattern on the bed from the original writer. Okay, the Eight of Swords. And like I said, it does seem to be more along the Rider weight lines, although somewhat darker looking, both in execution and maybe in concept. The Seven of Swords. The Six of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Four of Swords. Ouch, again, Three of Swords. The Two of Swords, kind of in a justice position, once again, reminiscent. And the Ace of Swords. All right, moving on to the Cups. King of Cups. Queen of Cups. I like this one. Very moody. The Knight of Cups. Mood inspiring. The Page of Cups sort of has an attraction about it too. All of the pages seem to be maybe a little bit more daring in some ways. Kind of reaching for a different image. Here's the Ten of Cups, and I have to say that kind of reminds me of something from the the Tarot of the Ages. I think the Cups were South American types of peoples. Of course, there was a lot of skulls in that one. Okay, here's the Nine of Cups, often called the Wish Card. The Eight of Cups with a kind of grimacing moon there. The Seven of Cups with the usual idea of maybe somebody's really on some powerful meds of some sort. Six of Cups, and how interesting because it's sort of like 
a mirror image there. It sort of brings up some interesting ideas there, like the Six of Cups. Here's the Five of Cups. The Four of Cups. The Three of Cups. The Two of Cups. And finally, the Ace of Cups. And it's an enigmatic figure in what looks to be a pretty dark setting. Not sure what that was. Graveyard? Maybe. So uh, that is my unboxing for the Midnight Boulevard. And I will be very excited to use it in readings, both the layered kind of ones I do in Goth Tarot or pair readings with other oracles. Off the top of my head, I think this would pair very nicely with the Sun and Light Oracle. No, it's the Shadow and Light Oracle. Uh, it would pair well with my newer uh, Order of the Hecatean Path Oracle. Uh, it would pair well with the Hecate Tarot, pair well with the Santa Muerte. Um, so I can't wait to see what the possibilities are. I think I have to maybe come up with some new readings or some new styles. But once again, thank you for watching. Please give it a like. And if you're interested, you can order it from Tevada, T-E-V-A-D-A dot com. They have lots of stuff there, and it's all very much designer and luxe and kind of pricey. So if you're in the mood for a pricier tarot for yourself or to gift somebody, you might want to check it out, Tevada.com. Thanks for watching this unboxing. Don't forget to watch my goth tarot uh, Wednesday morning. I'm not going to use this deck, though, so not to disappoint you, but maybe soon. All right, everybody. Take care.